My name is Josh Fackler. I'm here today to introduce the new hair clipper by Chi, the Dura Chi. Today we're going to show you how to use your clipper before, during, and after the haircut. First, we would like to show you how to properly tune your clipper for the proper power adjustment. Once you turn the clipper on, you'll use your set tool and adjust the screw. When you hear that noise, that means the clipper is running as fast as possible. And what you'll want to do is find this noise and then slightly back off to where your clipper is running at the highest capacity. These are the potentials that could happen during shipping or a dr if you drop your clippers, which quite commonly happens in a barbershop or a beauty salon. And this is what it would look like, or it can be as little as this much off and could cause you to cut your client or to cut hair uneven. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to take your Phillips screwdriver, you'll loosen these just a pinch and then we'll line this blade back up. And the best way to line it is to close the clipper blade all the way until we set it back on there till you have about a sixteenth of an inch gap. And then when you tighten, you want to make sure you're holding the blade firmly and tighten little by little. And now your clipper is back in alignment. Today we're going to cut Jeff's hair. We're going to start with the two guard, which is commonly known as a quarter inch. We're going to do a little shear work, and then our final blend will be some clipper over comb work. It's important to always have a comb in your hand when you're using clippers to keep the hair all going one direction, and it makes clippers cut a lot smoother. It's important to make sure that you're always dusting your clippers off when you're do especially doing a shorter haircut and you're removing a large amount of hair, because it will cause the blades to clog up. So Now we're going to wet the top, we're going to trim it with shears, then we're going to come back with our Chi Dura Clippers and clip roller comb and blend the remaining portion of the haircut. We used our quarter inch guard, then we shear cut the top, now we're going to use the clipper over comb technique to blend in the sides to round in the haircut. You always want to make sure you have the hair dry when you're doing clipper over comb work. Wet hair will cause the clippers to clog down. Right, now we're going to use our shrimp detailers or some people call them edgers to do our finish work. We're going to work around the ears, clean up the sideburns, and sometimes we'll taper in just a little bit above the ear with our edgers to give it a more of a polished look. So now that we've completed this clipper and shear cut to prevent any loose hair falling over him while he goes back to work the rest of the day, we're gonna use some twisted fabric. On our finger, you're gonna to wanna to rub it in really well so it does not give you the pasty uh, look like some of the other uh, gels on the market. And we will just work that through. It's going to give him a nice natural look and prevent any loose hairs falling on his clothes throughout the rest of the work day. So our initial cleaning will start with just brushing off the hair, the loose hair that's visible to the eye. Then we'll proceed with a more thorough cleaning, but this is going to be your standard cleaning after every use. Our next step to disinfection, which is one of the most important things in the hair industry, is we'll start with a disinfectant spray. We'll turn the clippers on so that while we're spraying, it removes the loose hair and starts to sanitize. You wanna just spray a little bit on, open and close the blade, let them run for about 15 seconds while moving the blade. Okay, so after we spray, you'll still have some residue left over. What you'll wanna do is we'll wipe, just take a, a cloth and wipe clippers down, and that way they can still disinfect while they sit until you have your next client. Okay, so now we're gonna show a proper maintenance with your oil, which we recommend you use at the end of the cutting day. What we'll do is we wanna take our oil, and you don't wanna be very generous with it. Small amount goes a long way. I like to rub it in with the fingers. And we'll turn the clipper on, move the blade a few times. 
Okay, so next is what we're gonna do is our thorough cleaning. This will remove as much hair as possible and again, further disinfect. What we'll do is we'll take alcohol. You can use any type of container. I've chosen to use a Chi Color Bowl color mixer. We'll turn our clippers on and open our blades all the way open. And then we will just dip. And you only want to have them in there about an eighth of an inch. And as you can see, it removes excess debris, hair, anything else that gets in there to clog up your clippers. So again, after you do your blade wash, you'll want to use a, a dry cloth and dampen off your clippers to make sure that you don't have any um, excess um, alcohol in there that could, that could cause any type of rust or any damage to your clippers. So after we finish our haircuts, we'll take our cleaning brush and we'll begin to clean, clean our guards off to the best of our ability. Then is what you're going to want to do is use warm soap and water to clean these before you put them into a disinfectant as in quats or barbicide or using alcohol or fungicide spray. Then they'll be ready for use again.